I'm Russ Blunk, and this is new men's head basketball coach Bill Carr. And, and Coach Carr, I know you've been, you guys have been practicing now for, for, for about a month, but before we talk about your team, let's talk a little bit about you for those folks out there that, that don't know you as, as well as we've gotten to know you. Talk a little bit about your journey to get here to Point Loma, where you've been before you got here, and, and why you're here now. Well, Russ, I've been around. I've been coaching for 21 years. Uh, I started coaching at the University of San Francisco, where I went to school. Uh, spent nine years there on the hilltop. Uh, had a great run there. I loved this school. Obviously, I went to school there. It's a place that, uh, that I'm very fond of. Uh, I got a chance to be a head coach at Spring Hill College down in Mobile, Alabama. And people are going to ask me, and I was asked then, why would you leave San Francisco to go to Mobile? Well, in this business, you have to go try to be a head coach sooner or later. And that's what I did. And Mobile turned out to be a great spot for my family and I. Spent three years there at the, uh, at the NAI level and uh, had a great run, had a good time, but it was time to come back to California. And a good friend of mine was hired at Long Beach State and uh, gave me a chance to come back on his staff and spent two years there with the 49ers. Um, and my family and I, although I grew up in L.A., uh, we were looking to get out of L.A. <laughs> and the UCSD job. Uh, opened up uh, the head coaching job, and I was lucky enough to be selected as the uh, head coach there at UCSD. And uh, spent three years running the program there for the Tritons. And, uh, and this is going to sound redundant, but another friend of mine <laughs> was hired at the University of San Diego, uh, Bill Greer, and he asked me to come over and help him uh, with that program. And I did that. Uh, spent four years with him. Uh, our first year was great. We went to the NCAA tournament. Uh, beat UConn, uh, played in the second round of the NCAA tournament, beat Kentucky that year at Rupp Arena, uh, and I had a, a great time working with him and those kids over there. Uh, and then Point Loma, uh, a job came open, and Ethan Hamilton moved to BAD, as you well know. Uh, and it was a position that I have kind of always had my eye on. I knew about the school having grown up in California in the LA area, being around basketball for all those years, that this is a job, a basketball job, that uh, had great uh, promise. And uh, knowing that it was going from NAI to D2, it even piqued my interest a little bit more. Uh, and I haven't been disappointed. My first seven, eight months here have been great. Uh, the kids have been great. The university is special. I'm having a great time. And things are going great. You're well underway, as I mentioned before, with practice and so on. Talk a little bit, though, about games. I'm sure you are itching to get out, or probably your players more so are itching to get to play. Are, are you guys ready to begin play? And, and talk about that early season schedule. Well, I think you'd ask 100 coaches, Russ, and they'll never tell you they're ready to play. And I'd be one of them. But we have to. Uh, it is time to play somebody else. We've been banging on each other for a good long time now, and it's, it's time to go see where we're at. And you, you have to do that. And the kids have done a wonderful job. Uh, I put them through a hard conditioning program, practice that has not been easy. Uh, they've been learning a new system. And uh, I think they've done a wonderful job. And they're ready to play somebody else uh, to see where we're at. And then as the year goes on, I would hope that you know, we'll continue to improve. But yeah, we're ready for games. And we're looking forward to games, more importantly. Uh, and our schedule's not easy. You know, we're starting on the road, then we come home and play uh, a team that's ranked in the um, top 25, Carroll College, across town, and then homecoming. So we're, we're off to a, uh, a tough start. You've got an interesting mix because you've got seven returnees, and, and most of those seven saw significant playing time last year. You also brought in seven newcomers. Talk about that mix a little bit and how that's working out for you here in the early going. Well... I was lucky, uh, you know, because Ethan it, it built such a good foundation. It started with Art, and then Ethan comes in, and I've been the beneficiary of a really good foundation of kids. Uh, the senior group is strong. The, uh, the rest of the returning guys know what they're doing. They know this level. Uh, so they've been, they've been doing a really, really good job. The new guys, you know, they're new guys. And they're talented new guys, but they're new. They're new to this level. They're new to me. Um, so they're, they're coming along. Once we get everybody kind of on the same level 
and we'll we'll move forward uh, like I think we can. All right, head coach Bill Carr, thanks for the chat.